Joao Neves has told Manchester United what they want to hear amid transfer links Benfica starlet Joao Neves is continuing to be heavily linked with a move to Man United ahead of the summer transfer window opening. With just over a week to go until the summer transfer window opens, speculation linking Benfica ace Joao Neves with a move to Manchester United is mounting. United have plans to strengthen their midfield options this summer and Neves, 19, is a player they have been linked with consistently over the last few months. The youngster is regarded as one of the most promising central midfielders in Europe and is not light on suitors. Primarily a defensive midfielder, he fits the bill for what United are set to be looking for. The club is highly likely to say farewell to Case Moreau this summer, meaning they will need a successor. The Brazilian regressed throughout the 2023-24 campaign, meaning he needs replacing. United need fresh legs at the base of the engine room, despite only being 19. He has already played 75 times for Benfica, including nine appearances in the Champions League. He was a regular fixture in the team this season, making 55 appearances across all competitions. According to Portuguese outlet record, United have seen an opening bid of £51 million rejected for the youngster. Neves' release clause is understood to be £105 million, meaning the Reds have fallen well short. Whether United will go back in with a second offer remains to be seen, but they already have the knowledge that the midfielder has refrained from committing his future to Benfica leaving the door open for a move elsewhere, speaking back in February, the Portuguese, who has made the squad for the European Championship, said, staying at Benfica next year. I can't promise anything for next season. My wish at the moment is to stay at Benfica and then we will see, you never know. Joao Neves has been heavily linked with a move to Manchester United for several months, the fact Neves has refused to. Rule out the prospect of leaving the Portuguese club could be music to United's ears. They need to recruit younger legs this summer and Sir Jim Ratcliffe has already addressed the need to change their recruitment strategy. Neves is a player that fits that vision, but he is not going to be a cheap addition. United need to strike a fine balance between recruiting young players and not paying over the odds, Neves, however has demonstrated all of the hallmarks of a player who has plenty of potential. He is solid in possession and has an excellent reading of the game. United have been searching for a long-term answer at the base of their midfield for several years and Neves could be just the ticket. Benfica's demands, however, could decide United's chances of signing him. Even if the midfielder would be open to a new challenge, Man United desperately need to strengthen their midfield options this summer, and they had the chance to previously sign the ideal candidate. If you tuned into England's 3-0 win over Bosnia and Herzegovina on Monday night with the expectation of being entertained, you had the wrong idea. Pre-tournament friendlies are rarely entertaining and memorable, so much so the 3-0 scoreline was a lot greater than most England supporters anticipated. Gareth Southgate, who deployed a second-string starting 11, was never going to approach a meaningless friendly at full throttle 13 days ahead of a tournament opener. It was an opportunity for those who are not guaranteed places on the plane to Germany next week to leave their calling card and give Southgate food for thought. Cole Palmer and Ebereki Ease made the most of their opportunities, producing eye-catching showings from the start. Palmer marked his full debut with a goal, netting from the penalty spot, seconds before being substituted with just over an hour played. He was one of five players hauled off by Southgate, being replaced by James Madison, Manchester United set to lose popular. Coach as Eric Ten Hag decision looms of the quintet of substitutions made by Southgate, 
It was the introduction of Adam Wharton for his Three Lions debut that was by far and away the most eye-catching, despite Harry Kane doing just enough to add another goal to his ever-growing collection. Wharton stepped into midfield, operating alongside Connor Gallagher, signed by Crystal Palace as recently as January. It has been a sharp rise for the 20-year-old, formerly of Blackburn Rovers. Experiencing international football for the very first time in his senior career, he produced a cameo performance that would have left you presuming he had been in and around the England camp for years. Attempting 36 passes, he completed the lot. He progressed the ball and kept everything neat and tidy. It was an accomplished showing that strengthens his chances of making the plain. It was also a performance that brought Manchester United's failure to lure him to Old Trafford into question. Wharton was regularly linked with United and other members of the Premier League's elite, including Liverpool, before moving to Selhurst Park in January. He was one of the hottest properties in the championship and was regularly tipped to smash his way through the Premier League barrier. Signed by Palace earlier this year, the youngster played a starring role in the Londoners' excellent finish. To the season, he quickly got to grips with the demands of the Premier League, averaging 1.3 interceptions, 3 tackles and 4.8 ball recoveries per 90. Despite being drafted in to become Palace's new midfield anchor, he was also excellent with the ball, progressing it, helping Palace get up the pitch, and his ability to read the game quickly stood out. It was a similar tale at St. James Park on Monday night. He was polished in possession, scanning the game with ease to keep the ball moving. He didn't attempt anything too fancy, ensuring England kept the ball and kept it moving, capable of controlling the play and doing the gritty side of the game in equal measure. Wharton fits the profile of the type of midfielder United should be hunting ahead of next season. Casemiro's days at Old Trafford are numbered and he needs replacing with a young, high-potential operator who can slot straight in. Granted, it would have been brave had United jumped in with two feet to sign Wharton from Blackburn without having seen him prove himself at a higher level 